guys, welcome to Mega Byte. I'm Freddy, and today we're going to talk about the E3DB6 light that's going on to the ANET A8 behind me. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. So the printer, the ANET A8, got busted. It uh, Teflon tube inside the hot end broke, actually straight off because of heat creep. It got too hot and it eventually broke. So I thought I would get another Teflon tube. I did. It wasn't the right size and it didn't work. It kept jamming. And well, I just figured let's just buy ourselves a new hot end all together. And well, the choice wasn't really that hard. I wanted to get something from E3D just because I've heard so much good about it. So uh, I got myself this one E3D Lite. It's not a big piece, but hopefully it's gonna do its job great. But we'll have to wait and see, hopefully this is going to be exactly what the printer needs. So what did we need to do? We needed to print out a new extruder mount for the a 8 Because the old one wouldn't support it. Because, well, it's just built to support the one they included. There's probably some other ones you could put on that would work. But again, uh, I wanted the, e the E3D one and the V6 light was just the thing I was looking for right now. And as you can see, this has been used. It got some uh, soot and some residue from printing. And well, I'm getting a new one wouldn't be that bad. The fan I had on the, e, uh, the Anet A8 that was cooling the heat end, well, it has seen better days. The entire corner is busted off, so it, so it doesn't give the optimal cooling. That might be why we got the heat creep in the end, but that's gone. So to install the new uh, print head that we got from E3D, we need to dismantle the old one uh, pretty much all the way, because we're gonna mount a new uh, rail mount so uh, yeah dismantling time So the carriage is gone, a bit discoloring here with a certain shape. And everything is off the mount here. Now we just have to get it back mounted.
So, it's been a while since I started the work on the ANET A8 and well, we moved to a new location and somewhere along the way I've lost some footage. So, we're here now and we're talking about the ANET A8. Uh, it took several tries to make it work proper again. Since I changed the extruder to the uh, E3D V6, which even though it hasn't worked properly, in a while, the prints that had, have come off it has been excellent. Uh, the extruder is working great. At least now it is uh, really great. Uh, it's really working out great. Uh, so I printed this test print a few days ago. You might be able to see some of it. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture of it somewhere around here. Uh, but yeah, I did upgrade on the ANET A8. I put the V6 on and I needed to switch out the carriage for the extruder and that one is printed with the Ender 3 that I got running back here. With yet another upgrade for the ANET, it's going to be, instead of the stop switch, we're going to have the sensor doing the stops for us since one of the switches on the printer has gone broken. So I need to, I need to move around some switches. And that's why we're going to be putting the uh, sensor on the said axis. But yeah, it's been a long time. I haven't had that much time to edit videos and uploading them and stuff like that. Hopefully that's going to be sorted right uh, now or at least be better. Because of, uh, I work as a nurse, as some of you might know. And this makes, well, I need to work a whole lot more uh, right now as it is. Um, it's, uh, I'm, I'm getting a bit more used to it, so I'm getting, I'm hopefully going to be able to do a bit more of the, the videos again. Uh, I'm not going to work less, I'm just going to shift some uh, <laughs> time to make the videos and to edit them and then hopefully upload them as well. But yeah, uh, so the V6 is working. I did try to print the RC car body, but it didn't work. Because when it did the retraction, it lifted the bottom tube or the PTF tube a bit, and that made a gap which the filament could get into, and then clog the system. And now it's it hasn't done that in a while now, so hopefully it's going to be working. And hopefully we're going to be able to start printing the RC car body for the FTX Fury Outback. And the body I have right now is busted to pieces. Uh, it's barely hanging on to the chassis, but it works for as long as I need it. Uh, we might buy a new body just in the meantime uh, when I print the parts, because I need to find me some filament that I want to use for the entire body so I can get uh, one color or maybe two colors on that body, depending on where it's located. Um, where the painted part is located on the body. Yeah, I might do interior in one color and exterior in one color, but we're gonna have to wait and see. I haven't really decided yet. As I said, I need to get more filament to uh, work this out. Anyways, so that's gonna be it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the like, hit the subscribe, comment down below what upgrade I should do next on the ANET or maybe the under three that I have running behind me right now with the upgrade for the inlet. So, 
Bye guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below.